So I'm just rolling up to the uh, Top Gear Canada secret test facility to film Top Gear Canada. I'm in this Dodge Charger and it's an absolute beast. I'm really looking forward to doing this. Let's go meet up with Jeff from the skating lab and of course, Beer League Butte Nicole and get this started. You have to listen to this monster. This is going to be a fun day. Let's get to it. Get to pull up in this beast of a Dodge Hellcat, 700 horsepower. Just waiting for the other guys to get here so we can take it on the track, but... What is, what is that? Where are the supercars? It's the Beer League bug. Oh, hey, nice car. Yeah, we are doing Top Gear. Top Hockey Gear. Oh, you thought we were doing the show? Oh, oh, that's right, England, I forgot. Sorry, man. Well, no, it's just Hockey Gear. I took the bus here. Where'd you get the car? That's really sweet. I don't know about this thing, but that's really sweet. So time for some new skates. Um, I have a very simple philosophy with regards to skates. I, my, my belief is you don't pick the skate, the skates pick you. Um, that way, I, my belief is you should be trying on a variety of different skates just to find what fits your foot the best. First question I always have, what kind of skate are you currently wearing? I'm really sorry. Could I, could I get another Tim's? You really want another coffee? Like seriously? You come to Canada one time and you try Tim's and I'll get you one. Hold on. This stuff is insane. <laughs> It's addictive. It's addictive. Yeah, no, it's addictive. I know. And then they've got the Nexus, which is a wider boot. That's the newest one. The Nexus is a little wider of a boot. Problem with that is the Nexus is too wide, probably, and the Supreme might be a little bit loose for you. I think partially what you're saying about the width, that might be more so the toe box area for you up at the front. But with regards to the narrowness, it's got probably the narrowest heel, and that's locking your ankle in. You're address that with a little bit of a punch there's a little bit of a thing I do I'm really sorry could I could I get another Tim's are you kidding me another one come on now this is getting ridiculous okay I'll go get the family pack there's a 10 pack back there I'll get you that I think that'll satisfy you I've always worn Bowers yep. um, right now I'm wearing the I guess not the newest but the second newest vapor yep. that they came out with um, and I used a supreme for a few years but I went back to the vapors you want to have a good push good twerk Starting, stopping. See, that'll do the trick. This one. <laughs> so, this one here you're currently wearing. Um, usually, it's just on the outside. So, what we're going to do from here is we're going to go over and grab three different types of stick, just to give you a little variation to choose from. We'll take those over to the base fitting room and we'll, we'll try out a couple of passes and a couple of shots just to see what, uh, what suits you best. Okay, so we're here at the skating lab. Uh, well, at least I'm here. Um, I don't know where Nicole and Chris are. They're supposed to be here filming for hockey tutorial today. Um, we're gonna get on the skating lab. We're gonna try it out. Try out our skates and our sticks that we used at just hockey. But uh, I gotta wait for these guys to show up. You know what? I'm betting money that they uh, went to Tim Hortons again. Yeah, uh, that's what I thought. Sorry we're late, man. Had to go Seriously? Go. We had to stop. Okay, let's go. okay, let's go, let's go. Let's get it done. Jeez, unbelievable. All right, who's been on a treadmill before? Sort of. Kind of. Yeah, long time ago. Nine, All right. It's been a while. We'll, we'll give you that. All right, we got three rules on the treadmill. First rule, everyone's going to try and sit down in their harness, make sure it's tight enough. Oh, God. 
Yeah, 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 it's tight then. All right, rule number two, nobody stands behind the treadmill that's back there when somebody else is skating on it. No, he's not skating yet, he's good. All right, rule number three, listen to your trainer, all right? So we're here at Chesswood Arena, North York, Ontario. Uh, we're just about to go inside with Beer League Beauty and Hockey Tutorial, Skating Lab Toronto here. Uh, fortunately, just a little bit of a note, uh, we couldn't quite buy the equipment we got from Just Hockey yesterday. A little bit of a budget constraint, we're not really top gear of the BBC, so anyway, we're going to get inside. Uh, I've got some special guests, we're going to do a little bit of a NHL All-Star type thing. We're going to get on the ice, see you inside. <laughs> Ready to do the NHL style, well, our version of the NHL style skills competition. Starting first with fastest lap. No warm up, no nothing, no tire burning, no smoke burning, no nothing. Just getting on the ice and see who's got it. So here we're, we're ready for number two, the challenge number two. Number two is going to be how many times we can put the puck in the net. Uh, we're going to hit some targets, but we got a little bit of different targets than we don't coach store. Oh yeah. Okay, so we've got a different kind of point system going. And instead of like five pucks like the NHL, we're going to use a few bit more. Here's how the point system is going to work. If we go in the pocket, that's going to be one point. We go post in or bar down in the pocket, that's going to be two points. We got the pegs in the top corners. We're going to add those as bonus points. The last shot we're going to take is going to go five hole for a point doubler. Ready to go? Ready to go. Jeff from Skating Lab with a total of 10 points, all muffins to the low pocket. We got Beer League Beauty with one top left pocket, a bar down into the peg, and one low pocket for eight points altogether. We've got Hockey Tutorial with one top right corner with a grand total of three points.
beat me again? Come on. Twice in a row. Twice in a baby. That's <laughs> So we're here for our fourth and final little challenge here in the hockey tutorial, Beer League Beauty Skating Lab Toronto, little test. We got Mike Henrik, former Edmonton Oiler, and we got Tyson Fawcett, gonna be playing hopefully in the Rochester Americans organization this year. Let's see how it goes. All right, so this is the one foot stick handling challenge. We've got two pylons set up a foot apart. We're gonna try and see how many stick handles we can get within 15 seconds. So this is how it works. The puck must travel from one pylon to the other pylon for each stick handle to count. Each time the puck touches your back end, that will count as one stick handle. Fun. 